Saved views allow you to define the position, orientation, and zoom level of your model in the graphics area. And they're also used in drawing views and combination states for model-based definition. There are two main ways that you can go about setting up your saved views. One way is by going to the In Graphics toolbar and clicking on the drop-down list for your saved views. And some of these saved views may come from your default templates and others may be user created. But from this drop-down list, choose Reorient. And you'll get a dialog box that allow you to define your views. One way is if you just position it with the rotation and zoom and uh, orientation the way that you want, just type in the name that you want for it. So I'll call this My View. And if I hit the Save button, it'll leave the dialog box open for me to create more views. The other way in this dialog box of setting up saved views is by using Orient by Reference, where you're going to use geometry references to face different sides of the computer screen. And from this drop down list, I can choose the different sides like front, back, top, bottom, left, right, and also vertical and horizontal axis. So, for example, I could choose first this surface to face the front of the computer screen. Oops, let's activate the pick icon, this surface. Normally it's activated by default, but I accidentally deactivated it. And now to face the top of the screen, I could pick this surface. Then let's just position it with the appropriate zoom level and position. And then for view name, I will type in, and I'm going to call this my drawing front view. And by hitting the Enter key, it saved it as well. When I'm done, I can click OK out of this dialog box. And then when my model is repositioned, I go to the drop-down list and I can access My View and also Draw Front. I want to mention one other method from that dialog box. If I go to the Reorient command again, I can change from Orient by Reference to Dynamic Orient. And this is where you can use the slider bars or type in values for the pan level, up, down, left, right, and for the zoom. And also you could use the slider bars for rotation. This is very common when you want it exactly at, hey, I want 30 degrees about the horizontal and 30 degrees about the vertical for a precise isometric view. Let me cancel out of here. Now, I mentioned that there are two different commands that you can use for setting up the saved views, and one is the reorient command. Right next to it, you have the view manager, and from the view manager, you, there is the orient tab, and from this one as well, maybe you reposition your model the way that you want to use it. Then you can click on the new button and give it a name, and I'm gonna call this drawing ISO. And besides that, if you just start off by creating a new view, and I'm going to leave the default name, then you could use the edit drop down list and choose redefine. And this will bring up the same view dialog box that you could use for orient by reference or dynamic orient. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.